When you open a Microsoft Word document, at the top, this component here in your interface is referred to as the ribbon, and it contains buttons that execute commands. A command is an instruction or action that you want the program to perform. So for example, here is the button for the bold command, which thickens your selected text. Now let's talk about how the ribbon is structured. Your command buttons have been organized across these tabs, starting with the Home tab. Now technically the File tab is not part of the ribbon. It's a component of its own. So to see the commands under a tab, just click on the tab where its name is located. Now, under each tab, related commands have been grouped together. The group name appears at the bottom of the ribbon. And notice there are lines dividing the groups. For example, we have a font group here, uh, which contains commands for changing how your text looks. Now, a useful thing to be aware of is that if you hover your mouse or your cursor, I should say, over a button, a little box will pop up that will display the name of the command and its description. For example, if I hover my mouse over this button, I can see that it represents a command called increase font size, which makes the selected text a bit bigger. Now, if the command has a keyboard shortcut, it will appear in brackets beside the command's name. Now, a keyboard shortcut is a combination of keys that, when pressed simultaneously, executes the command. So in this case, uh, holding Control down, followed by Shift, followed by the greater than symbol, uh, will execute this command. Now, we'll discuss keyboard shortcuts in more detail in another video. Now, for some groups, you will see a little button in the lower right corner, which is called a dialog box launcher. When you click on this button, it will launch a dialog box with all of the options available for that group. Now, to close the dialog box, just click on the X in the top right corner. Now, sometimes rather than a dialog box, uh, the button will open a window pane with all of the options, as in the case of the clipboard group. So as you can see, this is a little window pane. Now, be aware that some command buttons are made up of two parts. So for example, this is the font color command. Now, the first part here features an icon, and if I were to click on it, it would change the color of any selected text to the color shown in the icon. Now, beside it, you can see there's a down arrow part, and if I click on that, it will show me different options, in this case, different colors to choose from. Now, the last thing I'd like to show you about the ribbon is that the buttons will change form depending on the size of your window. Now, watch as I make the window smaller. You're going to see the buttons start collapsing. So just keep an eye on the clipboard group at the beginning here. So as I resize, you can see that these three buttons, which featured text, have now become icons. In other words, they've collapsed down to icons. Now, at this point, keep an eye on the editing group here. And as you can see, at some point, those three buttons have now collapsed down to one. And if I click on that button, then I get a menu with all of those buttons. So, depending on the size of your screen and your window, the ribbon may look slightly different. So, I hope this has given you a thorough overview of how the ribbon is structured and how it behaves.